To begin the surgery, your physician will make an incision in the skin over your hip joint, cutting through the skin, soft tissue, and muscle to access the hip. Once the hip is reached, the ball is dislocated from the socket and removed from the end of the femur with a saw. The socket, or acetabulum, is exposed. After measuring the size of the socket to guide accurate selection, the appropriate reamer, a cheese grater type device, is used to create a perfect hemispherical bone socket that matches the external shape of the acetabular cup. The cup is carefully positioned in the bony socket. This cup is held in place using a number of methods depending upon surgeon preference and your bone quality. These methods may include bone cement to hold the cup in place. Most cups are designed to allow bone to grow into the metal surface to hold the cup in place. These cups have a roughened or specially prepared surface, which is designed to allow ingrowth of bone into the metal itself. This type of fixation may be augmented by screws to help fix the cup in place while bone growth takes place. The inside of the femur, or thigh bone, is then cleared with various types of devices and a prosthesis is placed into the femur. A trial ball is placed on the top of the femoral stem and a plastic insert is placed into the cup. The hip joint is then articulated by placing the ball in the artificial socket. The hip is evaluated for the type and amount of motion it has and the stability of the joint that is, the inability of the ball to dislocate from the socket easily. Once the appropriate combination has been found, the ball is then placed onto the femoral stem and the final insert is placed into the cup. The leg is evaluated again for stability and mobility and leg length equality. Throughout the operation, numerous measurements and operative considerations are taken to equalize leg lengths. However, the primary goal is to achieve a stable, non-dislocating hip. Prior to final assembly of the total hip, leg lengths are again evaluated. The new implants will replicate your hip joint. Your physician will rinse out debris from the hip joint with sterile fluid and then close the wound in layers with stitches and or staples. A plastic drain may be placed in your hip and removed later. The purpose of the drain is to remove blood from the inside of the joint and tissues that might accumulate in the area after surgery. When you awaken from surgery, you will be in the recovery room.